So we're going to have a little Battle Royale uh, discussion, debate. And uh, now that I've read the book finally, um, which was the last thing I did, I read the ma manga about a year ago, and I watched the film many years ago, and I just bought the Blu-ray edition and watched it again today, <coughs> I wanted to go over what I felt was the best one. Um, let's start with the, in my opinion, the weakest link would definitely be the movie. Um, it's just, the problem I have with the movie is three major things, and these are the three. One, the acting. 70% or maybe even 80% of the acting is absolutely fucking horrible. Um, now, they are kids and they're young, so, you know, they can't be amazing. But it's just so over the top at times. You would wonder, like, what is the director thinking? And uh, don't get me wrong. I think he's he has a great vision and the movie itself has some really good atmosphere. Um, it captures the island really well. But it's just what the fuck were some of the things these kids were doing or speaking. It just didn't make sense to me. Um, so that's a major, major thing is the acting's just over the top. Um, two, and this is, um, this is, I feel, uh, some will disagree. The changes that they made are just too drastic at points. Um, this is obviously spoilers. I hate the, how the teacher is depicted in this movie. He's depicted as almost a pity case. Like, you, you should feel a little sorry for him. I... I don't like that. I didn't feel sorry for him in the movie, and I fucking certainly do not feel sorry for him when I read the book, and especially the manga. Now, of course, each literation's a little different, um, the teacher. I'll get to that later. But in the movie, came off as a pity case, didn't like him, stupid. And that last part with the whole going to the phone and uh, was just, that was bad. But that's part of the directing. Um, so, yeah, the, the, ch the changes like that, some of the death scenes were absolutely awful compared to the book or manga. Um, I just, they, they, they freaking ripped the soul out of me at some points in the movie with the, the changes, and that just really pissed me off. And the third thing, uh, I guess you can lump this together with the changes, is the pacing just feels really off. Now, it is a movie, and they had to get everything in one, but with doing so, the pacing feels very rushed. You can't connect to these characters, and that's missing the bond that the manga had, and especially the book had. And that's important, because... Really, the the movie comes off more as the borderline just killing fest of kids. And it's fun to watch. It's entertaining. But you're not getting that character bond. And you may get it with one or two characters. Um, but in the book, you almost feel connected to all these characters. You feel pity. You feel anger. You feel sadness. And, and in the movie, you feel like, oh, shit, that motherfucker dead. But in the book, you're like, oh, man, he died. Fuck. And, you, of course, you get all his backstory right before he dies. So it's even sadder. But, uh, yeah, those are the three major things that really annoy me in the movie. Now, let's move on to the manga. Now, the manga, in my opinion, has its goods, its bad. I can see why it's considered the worst of the entire trilogy of book, manga, and um, movie. But I personally enjoyed it. It's over the top by far. I mean, some of the fight scenes are Naruto Dragon Ball Z fight scenes. I mean, come on. They're kids. Um, they also look a lot older. Um... And they feel a lot older than in the book or the uh, or the movie. Uh, saying that, what I did like is I like the character designs for a lot of the characters. Um, I definitely in the movie the main evil guy. Sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing these names. Uh, the the main crazy kid, he looked like. Uh, fucking weird. He had, like, spiky hair and shit. I was like, this doesn't look like a villain. A villain, a high vision, a killer. He's got the hair slicked back. He's got the nasty fucking look on him, ready to just slaughter you. He's his villain. And that's what you really get in the manga, and that's what it feels like in the book. Uh, he looks like a, almost like a little mini gangster. Gangster. Old-fashioned gangster, not gangsta. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed how they depict some of the characters in the manga, how they look. I also enjoyed the death scenes. Over the top, of course, but some of them were really, really fucked up, and you just feel that much worse. I especially, I love it in the book, how, uh, sorry if I get this wrong, Shu, Shao, Shu? Uh, the main character, his best friend, Nabu, I'm probably getting that wrong too, uh, how he gets killed. 
Oh my god, in the book it's nasty, but in the manga it's so fucked up. And that just builds that anger that you want to destroy the fuckers. So I really enjoyed that. And it definitely some of the death scenes make you feel that emotion that the, the movie kind of missed out on some parts. And, um, and the book tries to amplify it too at points. So I definitely thought that the manga was entertaining. Some of it was over the top, some of it was silly, you know, all that. But if you can, you know, look past the silliness and some of the fight scenes, it really is pretty damn good, and, uh, it's pretty fucked up at points, it makes you want to kill him, now the book, it's the last thing I got to, and it's kind of funny, because personally for me, I love to read the book, then watch the movie, because that's usually how I roll, um, you know, I like to, and I don't compare, I take them as two different mediums, that's what I'm doing here, um, you know, I, I'm comparing them now, but I'll tell you at the end what I mean, uh, the, the book is great source material, it's interesting, the story is very captured, everybody has a backstory, you feel for these characters, you feel sad, you feel, oh my god, you feel what is happening to every single character, pacing is on point, on point, you're never bored, never, um, and it's just really, really well written, the problem probably is the translation sometimes is a little off in the US version, um, it's not too bad, uh, there's some uh, lines I definitely feel are kind of off, uh, I also, I'm not understanding, I mean, you get a lot of gory moments that you're reading, but there's, like, no cursing or anything, and that, that's a little strange to me, but I guess, you know, maybe that's lost in translation, maybe in the Japanese version there's a lot more cursing and worrying, but, uh, overall, uh, some translation aside, the book is absolutely amazing, um, I would, I would definitely give it a great score, so, um, you really, the, the, the discussion now with what I'm doing, I'm, I'm comparing the three different things of one series, but as, as separate mediums, as, as if I'm rating each one by itself, not comparing, the movie itself has some really, really bad acting, and some crazy hand motions going on, the pacing feels weird and fast, and you're not really getting these character developments at all, so I definitely give the movie on its own about a 5.5 to a 6, uh, it, it's entertaining, don't get me wrong, and I'll watch it with friends, I'll watch it again, but it just definitely doesn't feel like a complete package in the movie, it's just kind of entertaining, but you don't get these characters really well developed, except for one or two. Uh, the manga, standing alone as a manga, it's entertaining as hell, it's over the top as hell, you gotta take the funniness and the craziness and try to add that realism in it, but it's a little hard with the Dragon Ball Z battles, but overall, as a, as a manga, I was very entertained, and I would rate it anywhere from like a 7 to a 7.5, it's very entertaining, um, and for the, the book... It's one of uh, my, it's definitely a great book. I don't know if it's like top 10 material, but it's definitely a great book. It's interesting. The characters are all believable and you want to learn more and more about them. And as a book itself, uh, with the great pacing that it has and some of the most uh, fucked up scenes I've ever read in the book, definitely give it around an 8.5, maybe even a 9 at some points in the book. It's, uh, I really feel like some of it's lost in translation. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just I feel like there should be more uh, motion, it doesn't have to be cursing, but there's not enough emotion at some points, but overall, it's really, really an enjoyable book, and I recommend it to everybody, I recommend actually all three of these to everybody, as a book, definitely worth picking up, get it for 10 bucks, get it at 12.97 at Target, that's right, I know that because I bought it there, you can go to, um, for the manga, it's by Tokyo Pop. You can get the Ultimate Editions on Amazon. Uh, the, the most expensive one, the Ultimate Edition, is seventeen ninety nine, but uh, it's eight. It's seven hundred pages, so you're getting really quality for seventeen fucking dollars. Um, and then the rest are like twelve dollars each. So definitely pick up the manga. Very entertaining, and the movie. Uh, the Blu-ray edition just came out, so it's kind of like promoting it, but, uh, yeah, you can get the Blu-ray version of Battle Royale 1 for 20 bucks, or you can buy the Ultimate Edition on Amazon for $30, uh, and you get Battle Royale 1, 2, Battle Royale 1 Theater Edition, and, um, a bonus disc, all on Blu-ray, or you can just pick up the DVDs, so either way, definitely check all of them out, tell me what you think if you've seen them all, love to hear your opinion, and, uh, yeah, a little discussion on a little, little Japanese shit, you know what I'm saying, okay, I'm gone.